welcome to another vlog. I'm out on my morning walk and it feels so brisk right now. I think it's in like the upper 50s, which is very exciting. I'm doing like a shortened walk today and then I'm going to meet my friend Kara for a little morning coffee date. We haven't caught up in a while. We saw each other at Trader Joe's the other day, so we're gonna catch up and just have some girl time. So that'll be nice. And then I have some main channel filming to do. I have some editing to do. The editing will probably take priority, but yeah, just wanted to say good morning and we're gonna have hopefully an amazing day. Okay, back home from my walk. My hips hurt weirdly. That's what it's like getting old. <laughs> It's like going for a walk and your hips like being like, oh. But it was lovely. I got like a probably 30 minute walk in before I met with Kara and then we probably walked for like an hour. So a little less than an hour. So that was really nice. I feel really good. I'm gonna make my little protein shake. This is genuinely what I look forward to every single morning. Um, it just brings me so much joy. I've shown it in so many vlogs over the years, but in case you haven't seen it, and why not? Let's make it together. So don't mine my rickety blender here drew and i need a new blender so badly and we really really want a what is it called vitamix i think but those things are so expensive so we think we might wait until like black friday we'll see so okay here is what is in my smoothie we have one frozen banana and one usually handful of spinach but um my spinach was like starting to kind of look suspicious. So what I did, because I'm a genius, I ended up like blending all of the spinach with some water and then putting it in an ice cube tray. And now I have these like spinach ice cubes so I didn't have to throw away the bag of spinach. So I'm gonna use like two of these, I think. I would put more, but they're like frozen solid and then I won't be able to screw the little blade thing down. And then I'm gonna fill it up with some almond milk. And then we're doing our protein powder and that's pretty much it. Sometimes I put almond butter, if I'm in the mood, but it's fine. And then this is my current favorite protein powder. It's the Kos, Kos plant protein, and it has 20 grams of protein in it, which is great. Drew said that this tastes like artificial sugar to him. I don't taste that, but I also don't mind like Diet Coke, whatever. So in case you're interested, I'll link it down below for you, but it tastes really good to me. And to me, this is like a milkshake for breakfast, which I'm a sweet breakfast girly. You will have to let me know in the comments if you are a sweet or savory person, but I, <laughs> scared me. I just love a sweet breakfast. Okay, let's attempt to close this. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna put one more spinach cube in there. I think I can fit one more. Let's just do one more. There we go. Cause to me anyway, I don't taste the green. So it's just like, I might as well fit as many in as I can. There you have it. And here she is, Miss America. Mm. So I'm gonna enjoy this, take a shower, and then we will get on with the rest of our day. We have waited entirely too long to do our laundry. So it's like, a mountain at this point. So we're gonna get it started. All right, got the clothes started. I am just getting ready to head out the door and run a couple of errands. I need to return a few packages that didn't work out and do a couple of other things. Today is kind of like a get things done day. And because I've been trying to get dressed more lately, why are these socks so difficult to put on? <laughs> Okay, anyways, whew. Because I have been attempting to get dressed every day, or most days, I guess yesterday I didn't. I put together like a fun little outfit that I saw people recommending on TikTok, which is that you take like a big oversized t-shirt and you put like some sort of lace skirt or slip or whatever underneath it. And it looks so cute, I love it. So I decided to do like a fun little pop of color with the boots and here is today's outfit. I love it so much. It's like so girly and fun. I have like a cute little scrunchie in my hair because why not why am i literally out of breath from putting my shoes on 
God help me. I'm literally on my way to get some water. All right, so ignore the sounds of laundry in the background and also that pile of clothes. We're gonna pretend that's not there. But here is what the outfit turned out like. I think it is so freaking cute and fun. I basically have this slip skirt, like a little slip that I got at the Rose Bowl and I'm wearing it kind of like a dress, which honestly, this would be cute on its own as a dress. Just side note. And then I have my Iron Maiden t-shirt over it, which is like my favorite oversized t-shirt. I got it from the Rose Bowl flea market probably four years ago or something like that um, and then I threw on these red boots that are from journey collection it's their extra wide calf boot I think these are called the Morgan I just did like a fun little low bun and I'm not going anywhere exciting or doing anything but I just feel very cute today I'm loving it with the reddish tinted hair there were a few questions like a couple vlogs ago these vlogs are like a little bit delayed so sorry if I'm like not getting to things until later but I got a few questions about like wait I thought your hair was copper and then it, it kind of looked brown so basically when I got my hair done at the salon, it was like in the evening, like right around sunset, golden hour time. So when I got home, I was filming it in sort of like direct sunlight and it looked really coppery and I was like all excited about it. But then when I was like going to bed that night, I was kind of looking at it and I was like, it kind of looks brown. So that was when I realized that my the copper kind of didn't really take that well and it was more just like it turned into kind of a brownish color. So then I did the head and shoulders vitamin C thing, lightened it out a little bit, got rid of some of the brown, then added like my own little copper tint and I'm really happy with it. So anyway, it's obviously much more copper in like certain lighting and then when I wear certain things like in the last vlog when we went to Trader Joe's it looked kind of just brownish because I was wearing like a brown sweater but then today I feel like it looks more kind of copper strawberry-ish so anyways I'm going to gather my things and we're gonna drop off some packages it's like something I do probably once a month I think I've mentioned it maybe a couple times a month depending on like what I'm ordering for main channel videos but it is kind of the bane of my existence so we're gonna do it together and get it over with Okay, welcome to our Aaron's adventure. Who's excited? I know I am. Why are Aaron's like the worst thing in the entire world? I don't know. It should be fun. It's like, oh, I get to run around to a bunch of places. No, I want to be home. First stop is we are going to run to UPS and then USPS. And then I might run to the grocery store and get like a couple things for this salad dressing that I wanna make for lunch um, because I have some chicken left over from last night and I really wanna make like a sweet green, which is like a salad place here in LA. Um, I think there are other places in the US as well. A sweet green sort of like dupe type of situation for lunch. Um, so we'll see. Anyways, okay. First things first, packages. Let's do it. My first win of the day, the good sign from the heavens is that I pulled into this parking spot, which first of all, there was a parking spot, which is miraculous. And the meter is green. Someone paid ahead. And actually, I usually always do that. Like I'll add a little bit of extra time because I just feel like it's good karma. So now it's come back around for me. I'm very excited. It's the little things. Okay, that literally took two seconds. I feel silly for taking so long to do that. Sorry, the AC is so loud in here. It is freaking hot. Like we are fully back in summer weather in LA and it's kind of sad. And I'm getting hungry, it is time for lunch. All right, made it back home. And now I'm gonna make my little sweet green dupe for lunch. I think I'm gonna start by doing the sweet potatoes because I usually get sweet potato on mine. And I also need to make some quinoa. Am I gonna do that? I might just be lazy and use some of the rice that I made last night. Typically, my order from Sweet Green is like kale and quinoa base, blackened chicken, um, almonds, parmi. What's it called? Crispy Parmesan. <laughs> You say Parmy... <laughs> crispy Parmy... <laughs> parmy Crispy. I know you're not making fun of the way I said something. Because <laughs> you have strokes. Like every day he will say a word and I'm like, what did you just say? Ugh, anyways. Um, crispy Parmesan, spicy cashew dressing, a couple other things. So, okay. First, we're gonna start with sweet potato. Sorry if you can hear the laundry. I am too lazy to use a cutting board, so I will not be doing that. So I'm gonna cut these into like little half and then half again, so like little quarters, I guess. And I'm gonna cut them thin so they cook a little faster. Uh-oh, maybe I should've used a cutting board. As much as I wanna be one of those like aesthetic girlies, I'm just simply not, it's just not me. All right, so 
in the air fryer they go. I would usually do this in a bowl, but I'm just feeling lazy. So we're gonna do a little bit of avocado oil. This is just like the avocado spray oil. We'll do salt and pepper. This salt is like so empty. <laughs> Okay, a little garlic powder, a little onion powder, and that's it. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now we have 10 minutes to do everything else. What else am I gonna put in here? Oh, and I have to make the dressing too. I think someone said that Sweetgreen posted the recipe to their spicy cashew dressing, which is like one of their more, more popular dressings, um, to their TikTok. I didn't see that, but I did screenshot a recipe that I found, which I will link down below. So what I'm gonna need is kosher salt, garlic, cilantro, which I don't have, but I don't like anyways, sesame oil, ginger, rice wine vinegar, maple syrup, red chili flakes, cashew butter, I'll sub that for almond butter, and lime juice and water. I don't think I have lime juice either, maybe, do I? Turns out I do not, but you know what? We're gonna roll with it, cause that's just the way life goes. So we're gonna do one and a half tablespoons of garlic. I have these little frozen things for reasons like this, when I don't wanna like peel and smash an entire little globe of garlic. I'm just gonna do like two of these, and then a half a cup of ginger. That feels like a lot, so I'll maybe do like three of these. Okay, boom, done. That is the easiest thing in the world. Next, we are going to do a third cup plus two tablespoons of cashew butter. Again, I have almond butter, so I'll just go with it. In she goes. One tablespoon and two tablespoons. That should be good. A tablespoon of red chili flakes. This one that only really has like a teaspoon left, but let's do that. Is there another one? Uh, JK, we have more. I've been trying to like be more intentional about what I'm eating for lunch lately because I used to only make like peanut butter sandwiches and things like that. And now there's nothing wrong with that, but I just, I want to like cook myself more nourishing meals. So I've been trying to do that. Okay, two tablespoons maple syrup. I will not lie to you. I do not have maple syrup. I am not a like regular maple syrup girly. I'm like a corn syrup girly. I'm so sorry. This is like Mrs. Butter's worth, I think. Two tablespoons rice wine vinegar. That's like literally nothing, okay? Good thing we have another one. One tablespoon of sesame oil. I don't know if I have enough sesame oil. That's like probably a tablespoon, wouldn't you say? Okay, go with it. These things I'm using up. I'm using up all three of those. Is that it? Oh, and then salt, and then add a little bit of water. Two tablespoons of salt. I'm gonna do like two, three pinches. That would be good. Okay. Put a little water in there. It just says water. So I'm assuming just like a splash of water. Like that much. Blend it up and see if this somehow makes dressing. All right, here's what we ended up with for the dressing. It honestly like is really good. It kind of tastes like bitchin' sauce if you've ever had that. Mm. It definitely would be better with lime, but it's really delicious. Like, I'm very, very happy about that. It's not the same, but it's close enough. Let's see what else we're gonna put on this salad. Does anyone care about this? Sorry, I have this thought like every time I vlog something, which like kind of prevents me from vlogging sometimes, but here's my life, you know? So we're gonna do some chicken and rice. I'm gonna heat up the rice, I think, and then I'm gonna do some shredded kale, and I'm gonna do maybe some pistachios instead of Almonds, because I can't find any almonds right now. It always seems to be my problem. And then some crispy parm, some parmy crispy. I usually do spicy broccoli too, but I'm not in the mood to like cook broccoli. And we're having broccoli, I think, with dinner tonight. So okay, let's assemble this freaking salad. Oh, I'm gonna heat up the rice real quick too. I'm gonna put this rice peel off that's left over from last night in the microwave for like a minute. And then I'm gonna chop up this chicken thigh that I have left over. I did end up getting the cutting board out. So don't you worry. This is like a, I think it was called a savory herbed chicken thigh from Trader Joe's. It's like one of those pre-marinated ones. It wasn't my favorite, but like it'll be good in a salad. All right, now we're gonna assemble. We're gonna do some shredded kale. I just got like the pre-washed, pre-chopped kind. So we'll do that. Usually I would like massage it with some olive oil, salt and pepper, but I'm feeling particularly lazy. So I probably will not be doing that. <laughs> We're gonna add some of our rice, just a little bit, nothing too crazy, like maybe a quarter of a cup. And we're gonna do our sweet potato. This is already looking so good. Our chicken, I'm just gonna do it cold. You can heat it up if you want. This is already so much food. Do some pistachios. 
I have the crunch, of course. And then some of these Trader Joe's oven baked cheese bites. I like the parm crisps better, but we'll just work with what we got. And I like to kind of crunch them up. This will likely end up being two different salads for me, but that's fine. Okay, so now we're gonna do some of the dressing over the top. This is how they do it at Sweet Green. They do like a swirl and I get medium. We're just gonna mix it up and hope for the best. Hope all these flavors go together. Okay, and here is the finished product. It honestly doesn't look that different from when I get my sweet green, so I'm excited to try it. Let's give it a taste. Taste test time, here we go. I gotta make sure I get everything, obviously. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Spicy water of the day, by the way. Water in the watermelon, pretty much as usual. Oh my God, it's so good. I can't believe I made this at home. Definitely something to do with like the flavors of the leftover chicken and then like the dressing, which really didn't take that much effort to make. So it doesn't taste like the sweet green that I usually get, but it tastes so good. I'm obsessed with it. And I have so much leftover dressing in the fridge. So I'll probably make this again tomorrow. And honestly, I don't even know if I'll be able to eat this whole thing. It's very like hearty, healthy. It's got like really good ingredients in it. Mm. I'm so happy. much later in the day now it is 6 30 we're just getting started on dinner we have like the cozy vibes going we have the lamp on the jazz music we're really into it but i just realized that we haven't talked about the trip that we referred to get over here he's going <laughs> we are um so excited oh, because <laughs> Your hair looks great um we're so excited because we're finally someone finally invited me to go to go to england we actually planned this um, pretty impulsively after Moo passed away. It was like, we were just grieving and Drew was like, let's book a big trip. Like, let's go somewhere. And initially Alexa and I had been talking about going together and she just has like a lot going on right now. So she's not really able to go. And so it was like kind of the perfect sequence of events where we were just in a situation where we were able to travel. So now we're going and we've had it planned for like a few weeks now actually, or maybe like a month. So we're really excited. We're going, do you want to give the rundown of the itinerary so far? Because it's Drew's first time, we are spending most of our time in London. Yeah. We only have seven days, so it's like, I mean, that seems like a lot, but it really isn't. So we're like not able to go up north or do anything like that that we want to do, but that'll be in the future. This is a first of many, but we're starting in London. London, and then we're going to the Cotswolds. We're staying in a cottage in the Cotswolds. Yeah. It's, little. it's so little and cute and like so much character. And yeah, we're just really, really excited. I'm going to drive over there, which is... I not? Because, <laughs> um... Drew here is our little anxious driver, and honestly, more than anything, he stresses me out when he drives, and then he I'm like, in, yeah, out. and then I'm an insufferable, like, oh my god, watch out for that! Like, I just can't help it. Um, so, I, I'm like a pretty confident driver. I think I'm a pretty decent driver, honestly, so I think I'll be fine. Like, I really, you know, if anyone has any tips, let me know, but I'm gonna watch like a bunch of YouTube videos. I already started. Right the, the correct side the of the road. Yeah, left, 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 left. That's just what I'm gonna tell myself the whole time. I'm only driving for like one or two of the days that we're there because we'll be in the Cotswolds, but we're just so excited. And I love going on my girls' trips with Alexa to the UK. It's like one of my favorite things in the entire world, but there is like always a part of me. But I'm more fun. That is not true, Alexa. <laughs> you know that's not true. But it, there is always just a part of me that's like, oh, I wish Drew could be here every time I've gone because we just share a love for the UK together. So yeah, we're really excited. We're gonna meet up with Jasmine and Nick, and I'm gonna try to meet up with as many people as I can, but this is also just like mine and Drew's trip. So we're just really, really excited. We're staying at like a couple different hotels in London and then our little cute cottage, and that's really all we can fit. Um, we're basically gonna stay big based in London so that if we want to do day trips elsewhere we're yeah we're definitely going to Richmond which is so exciting and like if you're from London or if you're from the UK then maybe like Richmond doesn't sound that exciting but to us because of Ted Lasso it's like the best thing in the world so anyway we're really really pumped it's like coming up pretty quick so that is like what we've been focusing all of our attention on is just planning all of that and 
figuring out what we're gonna wear. The weather has been a big question mark because they had sort of like a delayed summer situation and I think there also might be the potential of like a heat wave while we're there toward the end of October, which would truly be the most tragic thing in the world because they don't have air conditioning and like that would be really scary. But um, we will persevere, we will get through it. And yeah, we're just so, so excited. Like it's all we've been talking about. And now when we watch like, oh, that music's probably loud, but so anyway. Now when we watch like our shows and stuff, we're just getting like extra excited. And there's still so much of London that like I haven't gotten to explore yet. And I mean, we won't see everything of course, but it's just gonna be so much fun to like check it out and um, explore it together. So that's gonna be really fun. And there's so many things to do obviously in England and throughout the UK that we want to do that are outside of London. But this is just kind of because it's our first time going together. That's just what we're, what we're doing. We gotta get all of the classics out of the way. If you're needs to see all the museums. Um, I wanna see all the stolen artifacts. <laughs> We want to do like all of the typical, like we want to get a Sunday roast and there's going to be so much content, I feel like. I want to go to Greg. Yeah, Drew needs a I sausage want to roll. McDonald's. Yeah, we got to try Mackey's. What else? It's just so funny because. I want to go to a sweet shop. Yeah, definitely get some sweeties. Shop. A tuck shop. Yeah, I think like it's funny when you watch people from the UK coming to the US and they're like, oh my God, I'm in CVS. Like I love CVS, it's so cool. And we're like, what? And that's kind of how like, I got excited going to Boots for the first time. Like I, I'm still excited to go to Boots. I would say one of my biggest regrets is when I was in England the last time, um, we were at Primark and there was Greg's and Primark, like Greg's and Primark did a collab and I didn't get something from that collab and I'm really upset. Or like, <laughs> there was like a bomber jacket that said Greg's and like I really kind of wish I had gotten it. So yeah, we're gonna like do all of the fun things. We're just so, so, so freaking excited. So just wanted to share, let you know, cause we've been pumped about it for a while. So anyway, we're gonna make our dinner. We're making like peanut Thai noodles type of thing. And it's gonna be really good. That's pretty much it. We were gonna make a, um, like a, I wanted to make this dessert that I saw on TikTok. That's like these apple chocolate freezer bar type of things, but we don't have, Pretzels. We only have dill pickle pretzels. I was gonna say we have dill pickle pretzels. <laughs> Those are not the same. He goes, maybe we can wash them. <laughs> Disgusting. So, anyway, we'll catch up later, but we're just so, so excited. Are you excited? So excited. <laughs> I'm excited to go on a plane. He's excited to go on a plane. We're gonna take the tube, go on all the trains. Hopefully, the bed bugs from Paris won't have gone over to the, the tube by then. Anyways, uh, just so happy, so excited. It's the end of the night and you can tell my makeup, I didn't wear any like long wearing foundation today. I just wore like a tinted moisturizer and some concealer and uh, you can tell. But anyway, it is my new nighttime ritual <laughs> before I go to bed. Cause I am a 35 year old woman and I can do whatever I want. I have a glass of chocolate milk pretty much before bed every single night these days. It's chocolate almond milk. And this stuff is so freaking delicious to me. I literally love it so much. It's become something that I look forward to every night before I go to bed. It's like my little sweet treat. Yes, we are in the process. We we're folding our laundry and putting it away. It's fine. Cheers. Oh my God, it's so good. Okay, this is like kind of a weird niche topic, but I think the reason I like this so much is because the taste reminds me of when in the 90s, um, my mom was on like slim fast. I feel like a lot of our moms were on this slim fast diet in the 90s and I loved those things. I would always steal them and drink them and she would get really upset because it was like expensive. <laughs> like the dark chocolate silk almond milk kind of tastes like slim fast, like the dark chocolate one and like, I just really enjoyed the taste of it. It just, it's nostalgic for me. I will now have to pee like seven times before I go to bed. Okay, now I figured I would show you, I actually have my second monthly facial tomorrow because if you watch my vlogs, I started getting a monthly facial as a way to try and take better care of my skin last month. And so I've been on this new skincare routine recommended by the facialist that I went to. And I think it's actually, I mean, 
don't look at it right now, but I think it's actually working. I think it's like doing some good things. I'm gonna walk you through my routine. So I'm warming up the water. Nobody come for me. So I take this Milk Makeup Hydro Ungrip Makeup Removing Balm. I do a little bit of it all over the place and now things are gonna start getting real freaky with my eyes. And it literally just like removes everything. And she told me when she was doing my facial to like really focus around like the T-zone area, like where I have more pores and stuff, just to really like get all the dirt, oil, makeup, etc., out of there. Wow, so cute. And then all you have to do is rinse it off with water. For my cleanser, I'm doing the same one that I always do that I still haven't found the pump for, but I did order a new pump, so don't worry. It's the Youth to the People Green Tea Spinach Kale cleanser and this is my double cleanse next we're going to take a cotton round and go in with this indie lee coq10 toner it's an aloe and hyaluronic acid toner so i use this first i only use this one at night i do like three sprays of it and then i just go over especially all of like my problem areas i never really toned <laughs> that frequently I mean, I, I've gone through phases in my life, but it really does feel like extra clean. So I like that. Then I'm going to do my Ordinary Niacinamide and it also has zinc 1%. This I think is for like breakouts and just keeping all the bad things away from your skin from what I understand. And then while my face is like still a little bit damp, this is what they told me to do. I'm using this Moon Juice Plump Jelly Hyaluronic Serum. And this, I don't really know what it does to be honest, but it was recommended and I bought it. <laughs> this really does feel like a really nice jelly and I love it so much. I'm pretty sure hyaluronic acid is really good for your like moisture barrier, your skin barrier as well. And then for my nighttime moisturizer, which is different than my daytime moisturizer, it's the Ursa Major Golden Hour Recovery Cream and it's really nice. It's like very luxurious. So I take like a dime sized amount and I work that in and it feels so good. It's like, oh, so refreshing it just feels like really luxurious to me i love it and that's pretty much it it's really nice and simple the only difference during the day is i do use a different moisturizer i use one with spf 30 and it's not as like heavy obviously and then i also use this dermalogica vitamin c serum so yeah that's pretty much my nighttime skincare routine so that's kind of how it's changed lately can't really tell if i've noticed a huge difference or not but i feel like my skin does look a little better. Alrighty, and that's pretty much it. Just brushed and flossed and did my eyelash serum and moisturized my brows because I got them laminated a few weeks ago and they're like a little dry and that's it. I'm going to go to bed. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. Well, my hair does look like kind of coppery in this light. I really like it. I was definitely gonna fake tan before I went to bed and now it's like almost 10 o'clock and I'm too tired. So I'm gonna curl into bed, read my book and hopefully pass out very soon. So I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye.